Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Rosh. My name is Rosh and today we are going to learn about this special DAX function called uh, Use Relationship. Now, Use Relationship in Power BI is used to activate inactive relationship in Power BI. Now, so what do I mean by inactive relationship? As we all know, between two tables, uh, there can only exist one active relationship in Power BI, right? So you can see here I have a relationship which is active between dates and the hire date. And another relation, if I try to create another relationship in Power BI between the same tables, it will be an inactive uh, relationship, okay? So there can only exist one. So either I can activate this and inact make this inactive, or I can make this active and make this inactive, right? But with the use relationship DAX function, we can actually use both relationship and get the values that we need um, uh, as, as we need. All right. So that's what we are going to learn in this tutorial. OK, so let me show my data set first. So I've got a date table where I've got uh, dates from start of 2023 to end of 2024. And I've got year, month and month name column. OK. So if I go to another table, so that's my second table and uh, the HR data is, is a very common HR uh, data, which is I've got employees where they and there are another column called hire date where it shows the date the employees were hired. And I've got a termination date column as well that shows the date the employees were terminated. OK, and the currently active relationship is between the date and the hire date. OK. So let me go to the dashboard again. So I've got this date slicer where I've uh, picked up uh, the year column from the date table, as you can see. So there is 2023 to 2024, right? So this is a reference table. So this reference table uh, is not, so if I select anything on that, it won't be filtered. This is just a reference. I have disabled the interaction, okay? So if I select 2024, the table will remain the same. 2023, the table will remain the same, okay? Because this is just a reference table. So what do we want? As you can see, just by looking at the data set, uh, we have total of 11 employees, right? We, all of the employees were hired in the year 2023, right? And in, for the termination, we have five employees terminated in the year 2024, and six of those employees were 2020, uh, sorry, terminated in 2023, right? And since the active relationship between the table and the date table is based on hire date and the date table date, right? So if I select 2023, it will uh, show me uh, total employees as 11, right? Because yeah, the 11 employees were hired in 2023. But if I select 2024, it will show us as blank because none of the employees were hired in 2024. So what I want now is I want uh, two cards, right? Two card visual. This is just a text box now, but I'll replace them with cards. I want one uh, with total hired employees. So if I select 2023, I want to see uh, yeah, 11 people hired, right? And I want another card visual showing the total terminated employees. So we can see six employees were terminated, right? So 11 and six will be the output if I select 2023. Now, if I select 2024, since none of the people, none of the employees were hired in 2024, uh, it will be zero uh, or blank. And uh, for the termination terminated employees, there will be five terminated employees. So that's what uh, we are going to do in this video. Now, we can do this in other ways as well. So we can uh, split the tables, getting employees and hire date, employees and termination date, two tables, right? And we can connect that to date table. So we have one date table, one pointing, one's having relationship with the hire table, one's having relationship with the termination table. That will work as well, right? But why do that when we can use a function such as use relationship, okay? So, the total employees, as I said, is a count rows of HR data. Okay, that's gonna count the total employees. Now let's get the total hired employees. Okay. So for the hired employees, what we can do, I can. Uh, sorry, first of all, I'll name the uh, measure as employees hired. I'm gonna use function calculate. Uh, I'm gonna use the measure total employees or count rows. Right. I want to count rows, but use relationship. Okay. So currently active relationship is uh, the date table dates and hire date, but we still have to specify because 
I'll, sh I'll explain it a bit later. So employees hired for this measure use the relationship date and the hired it. Okay. Now I'll do that and I'll delete the, that visual uh, remove. I'll go the card visual and oh, that's a big one. All right, so I'm gonna write, uh, I'm gonna drag the employees hired in here. So it's gonna give us blank now because there is there was non employed, uh, no one employed, uh, sorry, hired in 2024, right? Now let's go for the terminated employees. So I'm gonna use the same expression because it uses the same expression. Uh, new measure, and this is going to be named as uh, employees terminated, okay? But now we are going to use not the relationship between the dates and the hire date but instead we are going to use termination date as uh, the relationship so the currently inactive uh, relationship will be activated for that measure okay so for the first the hired this one will be activated for the second one this one will be activated okay so if i uh, delete that as well and uh, make a copy of this one and drag the employees hired measure, uh, sorry, terminated measure in there, then I'm gonna give five, right? That's pretty cool because it is true. We had five employees terminated in the year 2024. Now let's go to 2023. Then it's gonna give us 11 employees hired in 2023 and six employees hired in 2023, uh, sorry, terminated in 2023. So that's how we can activate uh, any relationship right in uh, power bi using uh, use relationship and this is a very useful table and saves you a lot of time as well because the alternative approach to doing this is again i said to split these this table to take two tables right is uh, employees and hire date another table with employees and termination date and create a relationship another way to do is is use a function called uh, treat as so treat as uh, we can use the function to create a virtual relationship okay so what we can do is we can delete the both of this relationship okay and then we can uh, we don't even have to create a relationship for treat as function, but I've already have a video on that one on virtual relationship in Power BI. You can have a look into uh, my channel videos. Uh, there is one called a virtual relationship in Power BI. You can go and check it out. But for today, this was everything. And this is how we can use uh, use relationship uh, to function in Power BI. Uh, let me know if this was helpful and let me know if you learned something new today because uh, yeah your comments your uh, feedback is very important for me so that i can create uh, more contents like this i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much i'll see you next time with another tutorial videos thank you very much